Oh, Hi guys. Oh yeah, my back is pretty empty. Okay, I just come up with a really cool theory to talk about. What if Marco Diaz is related to Selena the Shy? Now, I know it can be possible, but look at the facts. When when uh, Michael when Marco Diaz uses the um, star staff for one moment, we saw that he has star shapes on his cheek, and they look like the same moon prints on Celia the Shy. I mean, come on, look at this picture and tell me what you see. You see the moon there? There's the moon. See, same as Marco. Now let's take a picture of Marco with his star cheeks, okay? And yes, since you don't see a lot of things in the back, it means that, well, very soon, I mean, not soon, but November, I will be moving out. Like last year when we moved in here, it was only good for a year. I'll be moving out soon. And that means I'll be living on my own. As you see in the background, there are um, no pictures and anything from the world because I put everything away because, well, got you. Let's see, Marco, Marco, Marco. And all of us have been waiting patiently to see more of, well, you know, Steven Universe, Star vs. Evil, and we just saw the ending of, of course, some of you, anyway, in different countries, saw the ending of My Little Pony. My thoughts about, oh, sorry, <laughs> we're talking about Michael Diaz, Michael Diaz, let's see, let me see if we look at his pictures. As far as I could say, Marco had seemed to always have a talent of magic. Whenever he touched the wand, only happens for moments, he likes, he's, I don't know, something about him. In the dream, we see him dreaming of himself as Tuffy, wearing a suit and a sarcophagus. I mean, I don't know what that meant, but maybe that was the depth of the friendship he had with, with his girlfriend. You know, I mean, you know her, the poppy, the surf girl. And he did have a touch of magic with Marco Jr., that creature, the hand tentacle thing. And he once was, he spent a psychology, a long year, he spent it with Hecapoo's dimension and running with scissors. So I got to thinking, maybe he is connected to it somehow. I mean, it could be possible. They both have the same cheeks. I mean, stars. Let me see. Let me look. Everyone knows that it could be true, but but I've just found a picture of him with the cheeks. And I know they're a different color, but think of it. Here is Marco Moon. See? And as we look at, they may be the same, they may be a different color, but there's a small connection of them. A moon appearance. I know it means something. It has to mean something. Yes. If I've learned anything watching Stevie, I mean, if I've learned anything from Star, Star version, you know, there's always a bit of clips and secrets mixed in, especially of Serena. And as we've heard from the last episode of it, um, Starkey back from the wand to Eclipse because she knew it was wrong to take it from Eclipse. And now, she's the Queen of Mooney, like it or not. And as they say, and as I've watched the trailer for the, uh, Season 4 episode that All Monsters will release because now Eclipse is Queen! So, I got me thinking, how will Marco and Star be viewed in Eclipse's eyes? And will she release her husband? Well, that has to be mean, but yeah. But my thoughts about Marco Diaz. Let's re let's see some of his episodes about how, or exactly, of what days he was using magic. I mean, come on. You can't just deny it. He has cheeks bones. And I believe he has magic. So let's count the episodes that... Marco has used magic in the episodes. Some of them were anyway. Let me just go to the list first. I mean, it's always difficult to find it here. Give me a moment. Oh, here's the information. 
As you know, as we know, we've always known he has abilities. Curtis and powers. Marco's gonna make a nachos. That's not a power. Academics, that's math. Strategy mind. No. That is sort of like magic. But as for weapon wielding, now, who else could wield a weapon? I say he can wield a wand pretty well. And surviving skills are very good since he learned it from Hecapoo. But yeah, we're talking about magic. Well, as I figured, the best episode I can figure was when he touched that the when he touched that item that turned his arm into a monster's tentacle. That was the first time he ever used magic on something. Then he used other magic for other things. Curses, Lux, using the key to go to different dimensions. So yeah, it got me thinking. What if Marco is a descendant or a relative or some clue to be connected with the La C Serena the Shy? I mean, we know her her, wrong, her poem says, What hides beneath the golden fan, her hand does swiftly holds a trove, a cosmos secret that never be told. So basically, we don't know who or what, but who knows? We'll find out in January. Unfortunately, I've been looking for more information on the episode, but sadly, there hasn't been. <sighs> I hate that. In any case, until we can find out more facts. But keep in mind that who knows? Maybe, maybe Marco and Selena the Shy, they could be the same. I mean, maybe that's the secret. Maybe she's half human. You never know. Somewhere or another. Also, here's another thought. What is happening to Moon? Where is Moon? Where is Moon? I mean, come on. Where is Moon? I mean, Moon disappeared. Since we're talking about Moon Cheeks and all that, I thought about bringing a subject on Moon. But last time we saw Moon, the magical unicorn sent her somewhere. But where? <laughs> and also, also, here's my thoughts. Some predictions I wanted. We will see Tuffy's past. We will see, uh, oh yeah, Eclipse's husband awoke. And we will learn more about, will Starco grow? I'll die like a vine. Huh. Those are my thoughts on stars versus evil. And I have actually drew myself as a pony person of her. <laughs> It's kind of fun. It's a very joyous fun for me. So you have a lovely day, folks. Good night. Messages.